Uh-oh. Why'd they cut that off? Because it's it's, it's it's starting. It's 10 o'clock. Oh. Yeah, look, it's 10 o'clock. I really don't like the song. It is 10 o'clock. Take a breath, look around, it's amazing. Sound check! Just no! There we go! Jammer Free Northwest! We have so much stuff planned for you this weekend, and we want you all to enjoy it as though you were attending the Everfree. School of Friendship. Aww, come on! So, we've got some introductions, we've got some events, we've got some people to bring up here to show you all the fun stuff that's going on this year. Um, we have a lot of first-time VIP guests. They've never been to a convention before. So show them some extra special love. And I'm just going to get right into this because we've got a whole lot of fun packed into very small time. So. Um, first of all, first and foremost, this thing is for the kids, so if you have any young foals, please bring them forward. We'd love to have them front and center here up on the floor. They can just sit on, on the ground right here and see everything up front and close. So, um, I'm going to hand this right off to our theater crew. Got some uh, lovely uh, mascot fun for you. So, to find out what your special talent is and maybe even make some new friends. Novella, wouldn't it be nice to make some new friends? Oh, yeah, new friends. Ooh, I'd love to join a book club. I can make some new friends there and read some books. Ooh, maybe I can get some new ideas for some stories. Maybe a fan fiction or two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, isn't the friendship school in Ponyville? <laughs> Sharpie, did you know we have races? I'm sure Rainbow Dash would love to race you. And Novella, there's a group that uses books to learn all about the outdoors. You can learn about different plants and animals. Wow, your mother should
teacher is putting a lot of thought into choosing a school to suit the both of you. Yeah, that's right. I spent many moons finding the best school for my folks. Aww. Aww. Brady, come too. I'm sure she'd love to learn about friendship with us and our Everfree family. Mom, isn't the friendship school in Ponyville? Yeah, can Marina join us too, Mom? Please, I don't want to be in there alone. Wait, Ponyville? You're sending us away? But, but, ever free? You won't be alone. You'll have all of us there. And of course, Marina can join. She's already invited to be there. Good point, Nevada. Mom, Ponyville! Ponyville? Oh, oh, no, no, not there. We didn't help with the satellite school. It's a part of the Twilight's Friendship School. Love, <laughs> Marina, and helping the princess and the girls get up and running. Yay! Go get Marina, quick! Oh. 
Backstage, come on up, please. Spin for me, darling. Let's see that. So, if you see a green shirt like this, you know that person, is, that person is on staff. They're there to help out, and they're here to make this event run smoothly. So, um, if you see any staff members during the con, and you will, of course, but be sure at some point to just give them a thank you, because uh, it is a lot of work to put a show like this on, and it couldn't be done without all the amazing staff we have. Uh, so be sure to thank your staff when you see them. All right, one more round of applause for our director. All right. Very quickly, I also wanted to just talk about a few of the policies we have here at Everfree Northwest. Um, if you have a con book, it looks like this. It's very lovely, made by our awesome design team. And um, inside, you can find all sorts of information about the convention, including the policies, which are located inside near the front, and um, you'll find the full list there. The basic things to keep in mind are that this is meant to be an open and inclusive environment, uh, safe for anyone to be here. Be sure to be mindful of other people, be respectful, and remember the mantra we all should know by now, cosplay is not consent. consent. Right? There's a ton of amazing Thank you. cosplay here, I can already, well I can pretend to see a bunch, the lights are actually not right, but I'm sure they're wonderful. Uh, just keep in mind, just because someone's wearing a costume doesn't mean they've given you their permission to take a photo, right? So make sure you're asking before you do that, all right? And we'll make sure you all have an absolutely wonderful time. All right, I believe that's all I have for now. 
That's going to come a little bit later. For right now, I'm going to invite Clockwork back up onto the stage. He's going to talk about a few more of our events you're going to see this weekend. Come on up, Clockwork. Some of you youngers might know what paper notes are. What is this magic? So, we have several wonderful events this year, including some really great contests. First of all, those who have attended previous years might be familiar with our Scribble Fest, which every year we have fans submit some writings. This year we change it up and have Script Fest, and later today, uh, sorry, Saturday at 11 a.m. right here at the main stage, we are going to have several of our VAs read a fan-made, hand-picked script from one of you. Yeah. And then, of course, we have our Iron Author. That will also be Saturday. That will be at 12.30 in the Twilight Writing Room. That's actually down here, not upstairs, down past the Volunteer Hub. We, of course, have our cosplay contest, also Saturday. See you I think I found a popular one. So that'll also be Saturday at 1 here at the main stage. But please take note, sign-ups for that will be at 11.30 in the cadence room. That's upstairs, where we'll also be doing pre-judging. That's also sign-up for cosplay chess. some photo ops after uh, cosplay contest up at Maxie's if anybody's familiar with the restaurant upstairs. So don't miss that. We also will have a PMV viewing of all of the PMVs that were submitted to us Woo! Sunday at 10.30. Oh, do we have some submissions out there? Yeah. Come see what we did. We have some really great PMVs, guys. And then, of course, hmm. Hey, Sunil, can you help me up here? What's this pun megathon? <laughs> Gaze upon it. <laughs> all right. First of all, who knows what this is already? A few of you. Good. All right. This is the Ponegathon trophy. If you don't know what Ponegathon is, Ponegathon is an epic weekend-long event, uh, which is a competition of both knowledge and skill. It's filled with things like trivia, as well as physical challenges. It's a weekend-long event. Many may enter, but only one can win this amazing trophy right here. So, what's gonna happen is, if you want to be part of Ponegathon, I'm gonna give this to you for a moment, you need to show up at the open entry round, which is, I have it in my notes here. I heard it, who said it? Three? Two. Two. Two forty-five, and that's gonna be in the Celestia room today. That's the open entry round. That means anybody is allowed to come in and try and enter. And from there we whittle it down until only one may emerge with this amazing trophy. So I need you guys to get hyped for this trophy right now, right? The final round this year, we have switched things up. Uh, instead of four rounds this year, we're doing two slightly longer rounds, the first being that open entry, which I just mentioned, and the final round taking place in main stage on Sunday, right before the charity auction. All right, so there's a lot riding on this. If you want to be up here on stage competing for this amazing trophy, you got to show up to that open entry round. All right, so I hope to see a few of you guys there. And uh, that's it for that. We'll see ya. Okay, that's it for our contests. Now, oh, I do have a little note here, a reminder of our Making Friends is Magic panel. That is today at 11 a.m. and Saturday at 10 15 a.m. That'll be upstairs in the cadence room. And if anybody's, who's been to our Making Friends panel before? Yeah, so this is really just sort of a meet and greet, a chance for maybe the little more shy, the little more withdrawn to come and meet other ponies in a safe space, maybe make some new friends. Doesn't that sound nice? Because yeah. as we all know, friendship is what? Magic! 
You are trained well. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. You know, all the best late plans. Sometimes things don't go as you expect. So, those of you who have a con book, there were a few changes that were made after we had them printed. And I'm just going to let you know what some of those are. Well, all of them are. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, fan decorating with Applejack and Rainbow Dash will be... That will be tonight at 6.45 p.m. in our Arts and Crafts room. If you want to go and... It says actually you are decorating an actual fan. <laughs> and you get to show it off. Uh, and you'll be, we'll be doing that with our Applejack and Rainbow Dash tonight. Alright? And unfortunately here we have a cancellation. East Court Productions, Fallout Equestria, Standing Universe. That was scheduled for Saturday at 5.45 p.m. in the Cadence Room. But... We have a replacement for that. Fall out of quest here with Fiora the Tank Girl at 5.30 p.m. Oh, yeah. in its place. Yeah. Ah, and we have some fans. Uh, and unfortunately, and I'm sorry I cannot go into details, but Midnight Mares is not able to appear this year. So there, they, you will not be seeing them in the vendor hall, and their panel that was set for Sunday at 1.30 in the Lunar Room is no longer happening. Uh, we do have another addition here. This will be, it says, Sunday at 2.45 p.m. in the Luna, we have Your Mind and Ponies. All right, and that's all for my paper. And now, for this fancy new device I'm called, I told you called a mobile. I know what that is. <laughs> so all of these changes and more can be found on our online schedule. This can be found at Everfree slash events. It is updated um, as things change. So you just go to that. It's very, very mobile friendly. You can see every day. And the best thing about this is you can create your own schedule. Uh, we have a little schedule maker that you can use. And you can put all the things you want to go see. And you can even print them out if you'd like. Oh. And I believe now I'm handing this off to our charity lead, Curtis. Have a good time yet? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, excellent. So, as many of you may know, or may not if you're first year here, uh, one of the little things we uh, do every year is we uh, sponsor a charity auction uh, benefiting a specific charity. Um, you know, I feel like that's really in line with the spirit of the community, uh, giving back. Uh, this year, um, the, our uh, you know, prime beneficiary is uh, Washington Autism Alliance and Advocacy. They're a uh, local organization that uh, gives you know, provides programming assistance to uh, both, um, you know, uh, neuro neurodiverse uh, children as well as uh, their parents helping them to uh, learn how to um, um, work with them. So, in that line, uh, Cherry Auction, uh, if you go, the first room in the Cascade Hall on the right is our auction viewing area. Um, most things there will be, uh, you'll be able to bid on as a silent auction. There'll be a few things kind of more like higher ticket items, animated stuff off to the side, it'll be clearly marked. That stuff will be at the live auction right here, main stage, Sunday at 2.30. Additionally, uh, just to be clear, anything in the silent auction that reaches a value of $100 will also be moved to the live auction. Um, and then um, finally, uh, one last thing, if speaking of uh, charity, um, if um, an easy way to get back to Everfree, uh, if you're shopping on Amazon, uh, smile.amazon.com, uh, we are registered there, so you can very easily uh, you know, throw us a little kickback from wherever your normal shopping is if you're on Amazon. Oh. And um, speaking of stuff you can buy, uh, I'm going to throw it back to uh, Symbol over here to talk about uh, some of the stuff we have at the con store this year. Woo! We have some amazing items available in the con store this year, and I'm going to have Ruth Alice coming up and show some of these things off. So, lots of amazing merch. The con store, if you don't know, is located just across from the Reg desk out there in the foyer. We have all sorts of awesome items here, such as these lovely plushies. Uh, these are also available uh, in the models from many of our previous years. So we're kind of doing a vintage thing this year. Got a lot of back stock that we are giving on to you guys. Really awesome plushes in here. You can get yourself a nice custom Everfree Northwest mug as well. And then I think this is my favorite for this year, the shirt, yeah. our con shirt itself. 
This design was done for us by Round Trip. Uh, you can see our, our lovely stick pony mascots here, which I think is just absolutely wonderful. So all of our con shirts are always limited edition each year. It's a different design, so it's the only time you can really get this, right? So in addition to these items in the con store, you will also find awesome things like custom limited edition pins, buttons, ribbons, amazing things that all help contribute to the con. So be sure to check out the con store. Once again, that is located just across from the registration desk, right out there in the foyer. All right, and now a very exciting moment for the opening ceremonies. We're going to introduce our VIP guests. <laughs> Just so you guys are aware, I know getting food around the con can be a really hassle. Uh, we have out here in the barbecue, uh, pit, the fish bowl we call it. Um, they have some quick snacks, grab and go, so you don't have to wait for a restaurant seating and, and menus and all that kind of stuff. So really easy, quick food. There's plenty of places right around here, walking distance, hopefully the rain isn't too heavy this year. Uh, but it is Seattle, so, you know, go with the flow. <laughs> um, we do have custom drinks available at these Woo! trucks. Uh, go check those out. We've got some adult drinks and some children's drinks themed with all of our guests as well at the restaurants. And they'll be available at the gala as well in smaller selection. Ooh. And we have a custom themed restaurant menu at Seaports for those who would like to dine with the pony themed food. <laughs> um, and now we can introduce Woo! the special announcer to help us introduce the VIPs, so I'm going to let her take it away. Front page. Welcome back. Front page here, recording for Ever Free Years. In just a few moments, we will be welcoming this year's VIP guests to the opening ceremony stage. And here on the phone, we have two very special ponies who will be announcing them. My good friend, Mocha Sunrise. Hey there! And another pony named Sharp Focus. Am I saying that right? Yep, that's right! Now where have I heard that name before, Sharp Focus? Oh. I'm your son! Oh, that's right! <laughs> Mocha, introduce our special guest this year. Yeah, it's really great! We're gonna have this really cool animation! Epic music, special effects, it'll be amazing! Well, I can't wait to see it! All right, without any further ado, let's hand it over to Mocha and Sharpie. Good luck, ponies. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Paige. <laughs> Phillies and Gentlecoats, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
producer and write stuff. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So spelled right. Let's welcome Story Amber. People, Tommy Felton, Blender, Weeki. Uh, yeah. W comic artist, Tony Fleece, and Miss Brenda. So you are up to the music man, Don Lincoln. Let's give a warm welcome to music director, Daniel Ingram. Here's the voice of Lana Street, Warren Jackson. Voice of Silver Spring is our director, Warren Jackson. Doctor, Classy Terry. It's voice director, Terry Classy. Next is the voice of Dallas, Melody Johnny. Next is the voice of Johnny. Good too. 
Uh, very exciting. Hey, Evergreen. Hey. Is everyone enjoying season nine so far? How do we feel about it being the last season? I'm sorry, I'm going to bring you back up because I just wanted, I want to ask one ask question. So at 4 o'clock today, we're doing a My Little Pony song panel. And I wanted to see if you can make a lot of noise to help me convince Black Griffin <laughs> some My Little Pony songs. Yeah. 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 That should do it. That's awesome. Hey, y'all. I'm so stoked to be here. You are one massive blob of, like, faces and horns, and I can't wait to meet you all. I can't believe I'm in Seattle, and I'm really stoked to be here. That's how we cheer, because it's the opening. It's nice to see everybody here. Thanks for coming out, because you make it what it is. I got to thank Scott and all the crew that are here that are going to be crazy busy, but it'd be great meeting all of you. So have a great weekend. Hi, everyone. It's Gallus here. Nice to me. <laughs> I make no promises. Hello, Everfree. What is up? <laughs> so excited to be here. I am as clumsy as Yona, so if you see me trip in the hallways, please don't laugh at me. It's just how I am. Yay! Do you love me, Katrina? Do you love me, Katrina? Yes, yes, I have to hold it right here um, because we have a special uh, thing we need to take care of, first of all. This is for you. Oh. 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 It's a birthday. It's a birthday. Everybody, if we could, oh. let's sing happy birthday to Kelly. Oh. So that's not the end of the fun. We have a lot more.
car in the store. And as soon as Fat Cat appears, we will bring out the rest of our special guests. Okay, guys, you ready? You ready? You ready? Sunday, 2.30 p.m. right here. I'm going to be hosting some other panels. 
You all look amazing. I'm going to hand off the mic. Thanks so much for being here. Greetings, one and all. I am the Silver Quill. It's wonderful to see you. I've had so much fun at everything in the past. I'm looking forward to it here. I'm uh, going to be part of uh, Just Desserts Trivia today, hosting uh, Magic is Threes, and so you want to YouTube tomorrow. I'll be part of Burns React as well. And uh, on Sunday, we'll have Breaking Into the Business, where I'll get to talk with some of the uh, guests of honor. So I hope to see you all there. Have a wonderful weekend.
looking forward to your complete and total surrender. Yeah! She's awesome, though. I love her. So those are all the live acts, and then after that, we get the basses pumping and everybody jumping for the Pony Stock DJs, starting with Faulty. Quick, who's not here at the moment? Yes, everyone's jumping. Please don't jump. After Faulty, we have Seven Thalman. And after Seventh, we have Pegasus. And with Pega. And to finish off the night, he's not here at the moment, but we have Eurobeat Brony. And now we're going to introduce the Saturday people, which is the gala and the gala after party. We got. So with the gala after party, we're going to start off at 7 p.m. with Eileen Monty. And after Eileen, we have Vocal Score Pony. How are you doing? Good. Bring that energy to these concerts, and we're sure to have a good time. I think. Thank you. And after Vocal, we have Forever Free Brony again, bringing us the gala. So with the gala, we invite everyone to come along and we do encourage you to dress up in cosplay or your best clothes that you got because it is going to be a night to remember. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And after the gala, we have a bit of an after party so you can uh, let your hair down a bit and turn up the energy a bit as we uh, rock on out. And after that, we'll have Gabe and Nate. Woo! So they'll be on at 9.30 on Saturday. And then after that, we have TCB. Yona's best yak. Yeah. And then after TCB, we have Elevator. Hey, what's up for West Coast, second time out here. And then after that, we got a duo act of Loop Hook and NLS. Hey guys, we we'll be having a set of 100% public. Can I hear it? And to finish off the gala after party, we are going to finish up with John Kenza. What's up, everybody? Woo! So, we hope that everyone enjoys the lineup that we put on today, and let's hear it for the musicians! Woo! Okay, guys, thank you. Have a good one. We'll enjoy your lovely stylings later on this evening and tomorrow Rock evening. On, guys! Woo! Real quick, a couple things to point out, especially for the Foles. If you look at the schedule, both in the book and online, there's a lovely little cheerily flower icon. All of those events are especially recommended for our Foles, so if you're looking for something to do, you have a little one in tow, those are the ones you should probably take a look at. Um, if you still have an interest in our VIP dinner meal events, we have couple of tickets left, but they might already be gone. So check it register if you're interested in those. There are two or three tickets left. Um, who's excited for this? <laughs> I want to see all of your excitement flowing out through social media. So throughout the weekend, make sure you're chatting all your posts, all your tweets, EFNW2019. Hashtag. Um, we have a special Snapchat geo filter as well. It's centered around these areas right here in the convention spaces. You're free to use those, tag your tweets, tag your posts. We'd love to see you guys taking pictures, sharing your experiences here with everybody who can't make it. <coughs> share the world, share the friendship. Um, just have a lot of fun, please. <laughs> and uh, with that, I think the School of Friendship is in session. <laughs> 